Hey guys, what's up? It's Nate with BD Outdoors. I'm here with a beautiful Everglades. We're gonna take a look at all the features of the boat. It's a beautiful 335 center console. It's a 2023 brand new boat. Um, we were down at the dock a little bit earlier, just kind of walking through the boat itself and it's an absolute fishing machine. Um, one of the coolest boats I've seen and they're kind of new to the West Coast. There hasn't been a ton of these models. All right, we're gonna hop on the boat now. I'm here with Colton Miner. Um, he's gonna tell us a little bit about what he's doing uh, with the boats that he has for sale currently. Hey guys, I'm Colton with Luke Brown Yachts. Uh, today we're on board the 2023 Everglades 335cc. Wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on the history of Everglades and what makes these boats so unique and special. Everglades was founded by Bob Darty, who helped pioneer the unsinkable hole at Boston Whaler from 1960 to 1999. In 2002, he decided to branch off and create his own brand, um, which is now Everglades. What he wanted to do is take the unsinkable hole from Whaler and, and make it better. So what he did instead of injecting liquid foam and hoping that it would fill every crevice of the boat like Whaler did, is he strategically placed high pressurized foam molded blocks throughout the entire deck here in between the hole and the liner. The strategically placed foam on top of making the boat unsinkable also significantly enhanced the ride by eating up a lot of the vibration and slapping that you'd feel on a traditional monohull. So Colton went into a little background on the boat, what makes the Everglades special. Um, I've been standing here just staring at these beautiful mercs. Um, in the fishing game here in SoCal, we do a lot of topwater fishing. A lot of it involves searching for fish in the gyros for most of the day. So when you see that spot come up, it's kind of a, if you're not first, you're last mentality. Um, Colton, tell us a little bit about the power package on this boat. Yeah, so these are the Mercury Verado 400s. It's a straight six. And with this power package, the boat will exceed speeds of 55 miles an hour, which is really, really nice. Like Nate yeah. said, when you're running and gunning, you want to be able to outperform the other guys in the water. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we do offer a couple power packages on this boat with this uh, particular one. Your cruise is going to be about 45 to 45 miles an hour. That's plenty fast. Plenty to do it. And uh, you're going to have a range of about 400 miles, which is going to give you Plenty of fuel on the tank to go fish San Clemente Island, the backside of Cat, the Coronados, lower 500, all the southern zones. So on the subject of fishing, we have a 37 gallon live well right here, an 85 gallon fish box that you can convert to a live well that can be done either out of factory or after the matter with dividers in here if you wanted to do half beer, half fish, half lobster, however you want to split it up. We have modular seating right here, really nice if you're diving put your divers down right here or if you're just going out for a cruise on the water and these just fold right back up there if you want to save space and put some kill bags back here to fly your kite or if uh, you're bent on the back trolling and guys every single square inch of this boat is finished in sealed gel coat if you open up any of the access hatches to the bilges you will not see any tapping screws no fiberglass dust from the manufacturer you can literally eat off of every square inch of this boat so moving forward we have a little rigging station right here you can attach knives mono or fluoro spools under these little cutting boards right here the nice little freshwater sink if you want to get those fish scales or blood off your hands all of the models come tower ready prefabbed out of the manufacturer um, this particular model does not have a tower on it right now but we're going to slap one on it um, so you can see everything's already rigged for it folding antennas and outriggers up there so if you wanted to trailer the boat and uh, all the models that do come out of the manufacturer are all on breakaway towers so you can pull this boat out for maintenance no problem so let's get a little bit back into the fishing capability of the boat. Obviously this boat is pre-tower install. It is getting a rad tower. Uh, Colton, without the tower, how many rod holders is this thing? Without carry? tower, the boat comes standard with 25 rod holders and you could easily add more through any of the gunnels here. You could really, really load this thing up if you wanted. Uh, one of the cool features is a lot of these rod holders are also cup holders. So if you don't have a rod in there, your beer can go in there. So this boat has plenty of room to fish four or five people comfortably. With that though comes four or five people worth of tackle, which at times can be a little bit of annoyance. But on this boat, you can see on not just this side, but on both the uh, port and starboard sides, we have these 
big tackle storage areas. And this, so right here we have one, two, three, four trays on each side. That's eight trays here. And it's the exact same configuration on the other side of the seating console here. So you basically have 16 tackle drawers to store your surface irons, your poppers, your terminal tackle, stuff like that. Um, it's really nice when you only have to look in two places for a majority of your gear. Um, and for like charter captain stuff like that, this would make an incredible charter boat. Um, and this storage option is really, really cool for keeping all your gear in just a few places. We're in the helm now. Um, first impression, incredible helm space. These seats are just, they look to be like some of the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. Um, full booster, booster seats with the option to lower this. If you want to keep it up, it works great as a backrest. And one of the, my favorite things about this center console is where your feet are positioned. Um, I'm sitting here with Colton. Again, everything's at eye level. I'm not having to stand to be able to see what's in front of me or to the sides. I can sit comfortably and I'm exactly at eye level with the windshield, which Colton, tell us what's special about this windshield here. Yeah, so Everglades has a patented sliding windshield. I'm gonna show you how it works. There's a couple buttons on the dash right here. Uh, and it just slides all the way down. Uh, really, really nice feature. If you're getting some sea spray and some nasty weather, uh, we do have windshield wipers, but I know you guys have been on some other boats. When that salt gets crusted up onto the windshield in the hot sun, it can really, really eliminate your line of sight, especially when you're spotting, you know, really, really subtle breezers or birds. Um, you know, when you're having a tough day of fishing and they're just not upright, you really, really need to have that bite in your eyes. Uh, rolling this down at night will also eliminate all the glare when you're coming into uh, San Diego Bay or, you know, Oxnard and you have all these busy street lights and channel markers and you're trying to differentiate what is what. So with everything on this boat being top tier, top of the line stuff, Colton, let's talk about the electronics. Um, from what I'm seeing, it all looks pretty awesome. Sure, so every Everglades model comes standard with either the Garmin 8612 or the 8616s, which are top of the line avionics. We pair them with the B175 uh, Airmar transducer. Uh, you can do wow. that in either two separate B175s, low and high, or you can do a low-high combo. This particular boat has the low and high. Nice for redundancy. If you lose one, you still have you know something to read bottom or your swordfish or schools of tuna with. Everything's really, really easily accessible. I mean, like two screws here. You don't have to pull these whole speakers out. This whole thing folds down yeah. so you can access your Sea Keeper interface. And like that for me was a huge selling point, dude. When, when my client bought that 435 Everglades, uh, that was one of the first thing I noticed. I'm like, this thing is really easy to work on and it's yeah. fun to work on. It's not like you're spending two hours crawling around in a bilge hold trying right. to find a pump that you got to replace. It's gonna, you know, should take 20 minutes, but it takes you two and a half hours just because you can't access it. So Colton, what is this Skyhook feature here? Skyhook is a system designed by Mercury that is a, essentially called dynamic positioning. So what would happen if we were out to sea and I hit this Skyhook button, the boat is gonna use a, a satellite GPS coordinate to basically hold itself in place within three feet of where you hit that button. So essentially it's a virtual anchor. We could be out on a rock pile with five knot current and be drifting right off of it so fast that we can't get our line straight to the bottom. I'm gonna hit this button and it's gonna keep me exactly where we are, within three feet. That's it, incredible. It is top of the line, really, really fancy stuff. Okay, so I just gave you money for this boat. I have a cumulative time on the water of 20 hours and I've already crashed the boat in the, in the <laughs> past. Will this help me dock the boat? Yeah, absolutely, guys. The, the Mercury joystick is so smooth and so easy to learn. Um, you could literally do it in your sleep after a couple days of practice. Uh, I literally taught a 12 year old how to run a 54 foot Meridian using the Mercury joystick. And, uh, and that's a true story up in Dana Point. So as soon as we get off the dock, if I were to engage this joystick, it will actually override the throttles and vice versa. So the joystick will override throttle and steering. So when I'm coming into the dock, it's like you're in a video game. The only thing you're <laughs> gonna touch is this. And the harder I twist it, the, the harder it's gonna turn the boat. And if I push it forward, the harder I push it forward, the more throttle it's gonna give it. So once you take control of this, you're not touching anything else. This whole boat's built with a lot of redundancy. For instance, you can control the entire vessel from the Garmin screens here, as well as these aluminum buttons down here. Um, if your screens fail for some reason, you can 
control every function down here and if for some reason your actual manual switches fail, you have the Garmin's to fall back on. So I gotta ask the question that everyone's probably thinking about, does this boat have a Sea Keeper? The answer is yes, and all of the Everglades models can come out of factory with Sea Keeper. One thing that's very special and unique about Everglades is you could buy one without a Sea Keeper, and two years later, add one to it, and you will not void the warranty. I'm wow. pretty sure that we're the only manufacturer that can offer that type of warranty guarantee after cutting into the boat. Mm -hmm. um, this one has is equipped with a Sea Keeper too, and it runs off the battery bank, so no need for a diesel generator or a gas generator. You can save yourself a lot of weight. Um, you get back to the dock, you plug your shore power in, and you charge that house bank up, and you're ready to go for the next day. So I'm gonna bug Colton for about a month to test drive one of these boats and potentially fish it. I like to listen to music when I fish. Tell us about the stereo. Yeah, so the Everglades come standard with the Fusion stereo. Uh, really convenient, you can uh, split split the zones up, the audio zones up between different sections of the boat. So you could listen, you know, if somebody's having a conversation in the bow, you could turn it way down there. And then if me and Nate went to the party in the back, we could bump it on the stern. Another really cool thing about this boat is that it has an open array. It's the Garmin Phantom open array radar. Um, down here in Southern California, San Diego, we do get fog. You know, if you're out 60, 70 miles chasing bluefin and that fog bank rolls in, it's nice to have a really, really top of the line effective radar. Um, you don't want to be out there kind of waiting for a boat to cross your path. It's nice to have that, that safety that this technology brings with the premium package of the boat. Yeah, absolutely. This, uh, this particular radar can read out to 32 miles effectively. It also has a bird mode um, that you can actually find bird schools on. Really nice if you're not seeing a whole lot out there. Put it on bird schools and you'll find you know piles of turns. All right, guys, so we're going to step down to the cabin slash head area. Um, I'm 6'2", and I can completely stand up in here. It's extremely roomy for the size of the boat. We have a lot of storage throughout here. Um, again, like Nate and I mentioned, you know, every part of this boat is going to be finished gel coat. Um, you know, there's no sawdust, there's no self-tapping screws. It's just extremely clean everywhere throughout. You have an electric head here. Um, one thing that I really, really enjoy about Everglades is how easily accessible everything in the boat is. You know, you have no exposed wires and you can get to everything that you never need to work on extremely quickly. To me, that's a huge benefit when you're out on the water. If something for some reason does fail, you want to be able to get it fixed right then and there so you're not having to head home because you blew a fuse or a break or something stupid like that. Let's walk to the bow of the boat. So lots of awesome seating. This boat is clearly a boat where if you're not going offshore fishing Clemente trying to catch giant bluefin, you can have an awesome day on the water with family or or friends, whatnot, you know, barbecue off the back of the boat and have tons of people up here enjoying the day. Uh, Colton, tell me a little bit about how you can manipulate this space. Yeah. Depending on what you want to do. Um, tons of storage under every single one of these seats. These are on snap ties so we can pull this up. See, you can throw coolers or fish and ice in here. Uh, personally, I like to put an extra ice in here for my kill bags. Uh, another storage bin under here and here. Insulated fish or drink box under the forward seating. Um, you have another insulated hold under our hatch here. So plenty of storage oh, wow. for fish, ice, beer, whatever That's you want. That's a big hold. You call it. It goes all the way forward about another three feet in there as well. Awesome. And then another really cool feature about this particular model on the 33 is you have this table slash casting platform that can come all the way up and you can either do it flush to the seating there so you can stand on it or you can raise it up another two feet That's as, really a, cool. as a table to eat off of. So you can, you can increase the space for casting up here. So yeah, this bow has tons of room for casting. I think this is really cool. On a lot of other center consoles, you see this same kind of design where you can make this flush for casting. The one thing I've noticed though is it usually requires someone manually either placing this pedestal in or taking it out. And that's cool that with this Everglades, it's just automatic. Press of the button. So Nate was mentioning kind of switching gears from fishing to maybe cruising, a little day of partying on the water. Uh, all this stuff is modular. These backrests come out really nice. So if I'm going out fishing with the boys, I'll pull these off. All these cushions are just snapped down. So if we don't want to get them all bloody, we want to use this as a casting platform or you know, fighting a fish on the bow. Uh, you have the booster pads right here to protect your knees. 
and we just leave all this stuff on the dock so we don't bang it up. So guys, one of my favorite things about Everglades, uh, they have a really, really good warranty program. All of their boats come with a lifetime warranty. You can transfer to a second owner with a 10 year warranty on the whole. As I already mentioned, if you buy a boat that doesn't have a sea keeper, you can add one in a few years down the road and it will not void the warranty. That is very, very unique to Everglades. I cannot think of any other manufacturer in the world that will honor that warranty. Um, three year component warranty on everything like your Gemlux hardware, which is extremely high end, um, your Garmin screens, Everything electrical or me mechanical on the boat is going to come with a three-year warranty, including the Mercury package. The Mercs come three-year standard with an option to extend as long as you want. Uh, they have a silver, gold, and platinum program. I just extended on my boat uh, an additional five years, which gives me a lot of peace of mind to have that protection if I'm blowing you know, lower units out uh, at the 2,000 hour range. So Luke Brown Yachts is the exclusive dealer for Everglades in the states of California, Hawaii, Nevada, and New Mexico. If you guys have any questions about getting into a new boat, please feel free to reach out. We do take trades. If you have a, a current vessel that you do not want to list, we can actually give you a same day appraisal and cash offer on your boat. Um, from that point, we'd put that cash down towards your new boat. Uh, and that money can not only go to a new Everglades, but it can go to another used boat that you've had your eyes on. So please keep that in mind. It's a really stress hassle free process and we can do it a lot quicker than putting feelers out on the market to get your boat listed.